your unique story, our global audience, Global One Media. Hello, and welcome to Global One Media's exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with company executives sharing insights into their unique journey. I'm your host, Ashley Barry, and today, Michelle DiCecco, Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Lithium Chile is here with us, a company with one of the top lithium exploration portfolios in the world's top lithium jurisdiction with active exploration programs underway. Lithium Chile is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange as LI TH and the OTCQB as LTMCF. Michelle, it's a true pleasure to have you with us today. I am so excited, Ashley. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. So you recently hired Asenko Engineering to complete a preliminary economic assessment on a property in Argentina. What's the scope of this study and what is the timeline for publishing it? You know, Ashley, for a junior mining company our size, Doing a PEA is so exciting, and I, I hope our shareholders feel the same excitement that I do. Um, you know, the PEA, it's really an economic assessment of the potential viability of the mineral resource. And of course, a PEA is prior to a pre-feasibility study. Really, the base case information is on the capital costs associated with bringing that project to production. So, I mean, that's exciting news in itself. But while we're doing the PEA concurrently with that, we're also moving forward with our phase two drilling program. So we'll still be doing drilling, testing to expand the resource, to prove up the grade. Um, and then by July 27th, we're hoping to have that PEA completed and, and which we'll be able to report the results. Sounds like a really fluid situation. Love your enthusiasm. You've increased your interest in this property recently. What makes this in particular so attractive? You know, it's, you look at even just from two wells so far, and we've reported it in the 43101 report off two wells, we're at 2.587 million tons LCE. That's significant. We're looking at this project as a world-class resource. Like I said, our phase two program is aimed at expanding that resource through additional drilling. And I mean, this is, this is exciting. If we can continue to add to that resource, Increasing our interest in the program obviously just makes sense. We're, we're currently uh, completing the third production hole. We've reached the depth on that. Um, we're just now going to go in and widen it to install the casing and the slips, which then we'll begin to be able to start testing that well. Um, we also have completed our fourth and fifth exploration hole. And the results on these two, they're astounding. They've just kept in line with what we're seeing on those other wells which is high grades, great quality lithium. And that's what makes it so exciting. Wonderful. Let's move on to your other properties, Yamara and Los Moros. What's the status now on those projects and what are your drilling plans there? Well, so this was another, I couldn't wait to tell our shareholders in January that, you know, after years of just talking about Argentina and talking about our project there, that finally we're going back to really the namesake of our company, Lithium Chile, and we're going to start moving those projects forward. So Chile is a little bit different than Argentina in that, you know, gaining access to these um, these projects you have to do a lot. That's what takes so long is getting the indigenous communities approval. And so finally, with um, the one that we're going to start right away, Yamara, we've got over 35,000 hectares. This is a huge project for us. And so that will be our first drill program of the year in Chile. There's historical grades on that program um, of up to 350, 400 milligrams per liter. We'll probably start with the three to five drill program. And uh, again, with, with the idea of finding a resource, proving up that property on such a big claim and moving forward. Once we're done with Yamara, we'll move over to Los Moros. That's got historical grades of up to 700 milligrams per liter. So you can just see if we can drill and, and hit this uh, brine aquifer where we think that we can, this will be a significant uh, result for the company. Absolutely. With all those numbers, it's like you do the math. You can see the potential success here. How do you expect the financial position of Lithium Chile to look in the near future, given all of these updates you've just shared? You know what, Ashley? I think that uh, we're, we're probably the envy of the junior mining sector right now. We've been really fortunate, you know, for various reasons. 
we've got a significant cash position right now. We've got over $40 million in the bank. That not only gives us the opportunity to continue developing all of these projects that we have, uh, but also looking at other opportunities. We've got more land than any junior mining company in the business. And so again, those funds can be put towards developing all of these projects. So Michelle, I have to ask, what excites you the most about this company as chief operating officer, overseeing vice president, chief operating officer? You know, uh, I feel your enthusiasm. So what is so exciting to you, most exciting about the company? And and how do you sort of get potential investors sort of on board and, and to listen to your story? You know what, right now we're trading far below what the value of the company is. So this is the perfect time, the perfect entry point for shareholders to get in. But as well, what, what's exciting, Ashley, is that we reported, uh, we did a press release probably two weeks ago, um, stating that we, we have some expressions of interest in our company and some of our assets. This is exciting news for us. We've been always really clear that as a junior mining company, our intention would be to sell pre-production. So even though we're moving forward with the plans and the PEA to take us from a resource company to a production company, they, we have expressed interest. Michelle DeCecco, Vice President, Chief Operating Officer of Lithium Chile. Thank you so much for your time today, for sharing your exciting mission. Again, your enthusiasm really gets me excited. We look forward to sharing updates from you with our audience. Thank you so much for your support, Ashley. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you.